Welcome to Mount Calvary's online daily devotions. This week's devotional theme, we have been reflecting on the season of Lent and how Jesus went into the wilderness and how the Israelites were in the wilderness as well too. Today we will be talking about how God provides for each and every one of us in miraculous ways. God provides for you in ways where you don't see there's a way of provision. You don't see how God might provide because it seems as if there is no way, but God provides in miraculous ways. He provides for us in ways in which he makes us dependent on him. After God freed the Israelites from Egypt and brought them through the Red Sea, the Israelites became hungry and they became thirsty. Here's a reading from Exodus chapter 16 and 17. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out of it, and the people will drink. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. You see, God provided food for them, drink for them, whether it seemed no way. Water came from a rock. Bread rained from heaven. God provided for his people in miraculous ways. But when he provided for them, he also wanted them to be reliant on him. He told them when they go out in the morning to gather a day's portion. Don't gather anymore. Don't try to store up for yourselves this week's portion. Rely on God daily and God will provide for you. God provided for his people in the wilderness and God provides for each and every one of us daily. Sometimes it seems almost impossible, the things that we need, how this bill will be paid. Where will I find food? Where will I find the, the clothes for my back? But God provides for all of our daily needs. And God wants us to come to him daily, dependent on him. God provides for each and every one of us. He doesn't want us to be dependent on ourselves. He wants us to be dependent on him. I remember a recent meal I had with a Buddhist friend. And uh, before we ate our meal, I gave the Lord thanks for our food. And he, he questioned me because this friend was taking me out to eat. But this friend says, well, why are you thanking God for the food? Because I'm the one paying for it. But he failed to realize that whether he was a believer or not, God was the one who provided the job for him. God was the one who provided the finances for him to be able to pay for the meal for himself and myself. God's provision overstretches anything that we think that we can provide for ourselves. So be reliant, be dependent on God. There's no shame in that, to believe in a God that provides for all of your needs. God has already provided for our greatest need. How much more will he provide for the littlest of things? So believe in the Lord your God who will provide for everything that you need. Will you say a word of prayer with me? Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we give thanks for your word on how it is an example of how you provided for your people in the wilderness. We praise you, O Father, for providing your son, Jesus Christ, for us, that builds that relationship that we have with you. You provide for all of our daily needs daily. Give us your spirit so that we can be reliant on you and come to you for all that we need. Let us have that faith that you will provide for everything. And your holy and most precious name, we pray all these things. And all of God's people say, amen. Thank you for joining me for Daily Devotions.